mutton, some mutton, leave mutton. You gotta have mutton. You know if you wanna be with me. All right, crab it up, baby. Well, welcome back. It's time to throw on what we call permit candy. This big old blue crab. They weren't hitting the past crabs earlier, so hopefully they've, like Chad says, hopefully they switch over to a blue crab. We shall see with this big guy. Chad, what, uh, what is this bottom down here? It's an old barge that they sunk uh, back in the uh, early 90s. Yeah. And uh, basically what we're doing is uh, just anchoring up, up current of the barge and uh, dropping our baits back to it. And trying to see if we can't chum a few out of it to a little bit uh, shallower water column. <laughs> we can't catch a few and keep them away from those Goliaths. There, there's your permit. Is that them? Yeah. That are big yellowtails. Most likely that's the permit. Bonitas? Yeah. That's what we need. That's what I like seeing. That means there's a little bit of life starting to happen. Damn, we're over them right now. I got a fish. Come to the bow of the boat. Let him run, let him run. Look at him, learn underneath the boat, learn underneath the boat. Fish on, brother. Let him run. I could see him underneath the boat. They're all underneath the boat. Let him keep going. Let, don't let him go. Is he going straight down or is, no. he, is he going out? He's going out. All right, Blair, just gently don't put a lot of heat on him. Just put enough. You say so just keep going until he gets off the rig? So what I like to do is wait till he gets off the piece and then you can start to put a little bit of heat off of him. You put heat on him right away, they, they know something's wrong and they go straight for the structure. That ain't good. No, that's not good. We're gonna start putting it on him? You can start putting him on him. As much as you feel comfortable with. Blair, what I like to do is leave a loose drag, wait till the fish swims out of the way of the piece, uh -huh. and then I like to tighten it down. It seems that when you put a lot of tension on them, the first thing that they wanna do is run for that near structure. I'm ready to hold me a permit. I haven't held a permit in a while. And this feels like a grown one. A grown one feeding the old permit candy. Otherwise known as a blue crab. Looks like uh, we're starting to get in some flat land. Uh, let's go and put some heat on him, bud. What's the biggest permit you get off these wrecks out here, Chad? The biggest we caught this year so far is in the mid 40s, me personally. I did my first on a uh, fly rod last year in like a foot and a half of water. Talk about an incredible fight. I hear that's tough to do. You get out here on the wrecks and you, you can catch, you know, 8, 10, 12, 14 a day, however many you have enough strength for. But it took us almost, almost three days to get one good fish to the boat. Big permit. That's the kind we've been coming after. That's the kind we've been searching for right there, brother. I've been wanting to test out these eight footers on these permit. Told you we'd come out and put them to the test. I'd say uh, upper 20s, possibly into the uh, lower 30s. He's a fighter, no doubt. Definitely a fighting fish. What type of hook do you use? Uh, got me a laser sharp circle hook in there right now. Is that one of those three or six aughts that we put on? I think it's a six aught. And it did have the split shot on there too. Did it? Yeah. To get it down. Hummingbird was showing them what, about 50 feet down? Look at the size of that permit down there. Holy moly, this might be my biggest permit ever. Did you see him underneath the boat? No, I didn't see him. Oh man. They thick? When you went, man, my line's getting tight. And I looked down and I went, oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> That's what we've been looking for all day. You notice it's late in the day now. We've been hitting wreck after wreck after wreck, just trying to find the right school of permit. We just pulled up to this one here. It's the same one we hit this morning. And it was it was dead. It was like a desert out here this morning. Pulled up, first crab out, ba-bam. It was game on. Yeah, this is a real nice permit. Sometimes being persistent pays off. I always say the more you do it, the luckier you get. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> There's a lot of truth behind that statement. 
Well, the right McGill's ain't failed me yet. Definitely in a jack. I ain't going dun, 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 dun. There's Jack Cravalho, got that head shake that are unmistakable. You got any color? I got There's color, baby. You can always tell when it's a slow day by the frown on my face. <laughs> and I ain't frowning no more, neither. How not, far not, not, after, not after seeing that big, uh, what do you call it, a uh, manhole cover down there. Look at that fish. Oh, boy. That's a permit and a half, brother. That is a big permit. Can I say that's a big permit again? You know, big bait, big fish. Big bait, big fish. But then again, even uh, elephants eat peanuts, man. I tell myself that every time I don't have big bait. <laughs> <laughs> but only when I don't have big bait. I tell you what, these, these fish, I don't know what to compare them to. They come up to 25 feet, you can see them, and then boom, they go right back down. I tell you what, if I saw a boat full of ugly, I think I'd swim back for the depths myself. Well, you know, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself that way. <laughs> wow, look at that permit. I'd say that's a grown one. What do you think, Chad? Definitely. Right around to you, brother. I want to put my hands on him. Oh, nice job. Nice job. Whew. See that sucker. <laughs> now that is what we came for right there. Big old permit. Kind of like a Jack Cravel, kind of like a big pompano, or a little fish called a palmetto. I think that's what they're called, palmettos. <laughs> I've never caught a palmetto, never tried. Never tried, huh? All right, in the corner of the mouth. Thank you, sir. But that's permit, folks. That's what we came to get right there, the targeted species. Back in the water. And off he goes, brother, straight down. Man, that was a nice fish. Down to the green, blue yonder. That was a nice fish, brother. A great that fish. That was a real good one. So you think we can get another one before Mother Nature kicks us off the water? I think so, but there's only one way to find out, and that's go try. Let's go do it. Hey, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to position the boat again and hopefully show you another one of them great big jacks. That's all they are is jacks. Permit. We'll be right back. Let's go, then. Fish on, Daddy-o. How's it go? Daddy-o. Oh, 